Good evening, I'm Jennifer Copeland. And I'm Bob Montgomery. Rick has the night off. Did Indiana's Department of Child Services fail to protect an infant from her father? Halo Stutzman's mother is making that allegation tonight. She is claiming the state owes her more than a million dollars because of the four-month-old's death. Now, WSBT 22's Kelly Stubzinski has followed this case since baby Halo died. That was back in July. Now, Kelly investigators say Halo died because of abuse from her father. Bob Stutzman's lawyer says there were warning signs about this little baby girl's father, Brian Michael, and previous concerns about abuse. They kind of swept it under the rug and did nothing to continue to monitor this man who obviously had some significant abusive tendencies. Lawyer Vince Campiti says the Department of Child Services initially investigated Brian Michael and the mother of his children, Dominique Stutzman, in July 2013. It started with an ER visit for injuries to her nine-month-old son and a hospital call to DCS. It's our understanding DCS did not open a formal case but entered into essentially a safety plan and with some follow-up that they were supposed to do. At some point, they stopped following up. Almost one year later, Dominique found her four-month-old daughter, Halo, struggling to breathe in her crib and called 911. Medics rushed Halo to the hospital where she died from a brain injury. Court documents say her father, Brian Michael, abused his daughter, then didn't call for help. This tort claim notice filed against the Department of Child Services last week says DCS failed to protect Halo from her father and refuses to reunify the other children with their mother. Dominique says the state owes her more than a million dollars because of it. If DCS was there a year before, she had to know something wasn't right. So did she know that there was alleged abuse happening in that house? Why didn't she leave? Even in a domestic violence situation, for whatever reason, often um, people don't leave, uh, whether it's the mother or the father. During both incidents, mother was at work, um, had no knowledge. There's never been any allegations of abuse, neglect, or that by mother, other simply than the fact that she was associated with the father. I reached out to a DCS spokesman about this today. He says he cannot provide any additional information or details because it's potential litigation. The state has 90 days to respond to the tort claim notice. If it does not, Dominique Stutzman can file a formal lawsuit against DCS, which Campiti says they will do. I'm Kelly Stopsinski, WSBT 22 News.